okay guys welcome to my kitchen today i'm going to teach you how to use your frying pan or frying pan to make samosa and spring roll wrap so i have um three cups of hard flour and i have salt solution i'm adding my salt solution to the flour and i'm going to add water and then mix it together i'm going to use my hands to do the mixing we are mixing it to get it not too hard and not too liquid yes but you should be able to run the running method but not too liquid so you'll be adding the water in bits in small quantities and then you'll be mixing everything together so while you mix you'll be adding the, the water small small so you get the consistency that you want then you are going to knead it till everything comes out smooth and well runny and also sticky do you get it mm -hmm. And so we are going to uh, mix it very well please if you are watching me and you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing like and share this video for me yes yeah, so we'll mix everything together to get it very very smooth Yeah, so this is the consistency you are supposed to get. Like the way we repair both fruit of of the um that was it in both fruit now with it in mm -hmm. and so I have my pan on fire on a medium heat. Yeah, so I just scoop some and this is how I do it. I'll apply it or spread it in my palm and then spread it in the pan this way. You can use the throw and catch method. I am not really good at it. So this is how I go about it Yes, yeah, So just spread it in my palm and then I'll spread it in the pan. Yes, yeah, the frying pan. Turn it and then I scoop another one and then spread it all over because I want to get all the shape of my frying pan, yes. And so I try to do them in small quantities and then apply it. And while you apply, you have to make sure that everywhere that needs to be um, covered. So every hole you cover it, especially the middle. It's very, very important to get the middle um, fully covered. Don't have any holes there because if you don't cover every hole and you add your filling, the possibility that they will pop out is there. And so you allow it on fire for some few seconds. And then you take your knife and then take the edges. Mm -hmm. So if you're able to take the edges, you're going to lift it with your hands. And then I'll turn it to the other way. Yes, this one you can just omit it. Mm -hmm. But just for some few seconds. Then I'll take it out and then have a plate over there. And then I'll just I'll place it in the plates. Yes, so this is it. So I have the first one that I did. And I'll place the second one on it and I just cover it with a napkin so that it doesn't dry up. So let's do another one. And so this is it. Spread it in my palm. And then I'm going to spread it in the frying pan this way. And then we'll try to take the um the excess on it so that it doesn't become bulky. And also try and seal every hole, especially in the middle. Do you get it? So I'll try and then cover everywhere and then seal every hole mm -hmm. especially the middle is very 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 important mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so make sure you cover everything mm -hmm. and then allow it on fire for some few seconds when it's drying up then you take your knife and then take the edges and then you're going to lift it with your hands and then you place it on the other one yes mm -hmm. so just um cook the other side for some few seconds you can omit that one so we are doing another one that is last one for you to get it well yes
okay so we are done with our spring rolls and samosa wraps using the frying pan method i have the rolling method and the liquid method also there the video in the description box you can watch okay so if you are using it for spring rolls you just take one apply your filling in the middle and then fold each side and then fold it on top fold fold and then you apply a mixture of uh, flour and water very thick there to seal it and you are done and if you are going to use it for samosa i have two ways of um doing this the first one is when i take one i'll just divide it into two this way mm -hmm. and then what i'll do is i'll apply the mixture of flour and water take one at that place then place the other side on it and then place this one on it seal it very well making sure that the tip there is well sealed and covered then i'll add my filling to it and then i'll either um seal it this way apply mixture on top that is the flour mixture on top to seal it or i will also push this side in this way and then apply my flour mixture at the edges and then seal it this way mm -hmm. now the next one that i the next method is also i'm going to um shape it into a, a bit of um square get the rough or the round from it and then i'll divide it into two this way mm -hmm. and then i'll just uh, apply my mixture or sorry my filling there and then fold one side on the filling but before i fold i'll apply the mixture of um flour and um water there so after folding then i'll fold the other side on top making it triangle and then i'll fold this one also this way and then i'll apply my mixture there that is flour and water mixture thick one there then place it on it and i'll seal it and that will be it you see mm -hmm. so i'll seal it very well now i don't usually use this method because i'll waste these ones i'll waste them so i hardly use this method i, I always go for this yes okay guys so this is it we are done you can watch the method the other method also the rolling and the liquid method i'll leave the link there thanks so much for watching if you are watching me and you have not yet subscribed please do for me have a blessed day bye bye